All right, what's good, y'all? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe. Uh, you know, I, I haven't used the wrenching whip since my birthday, which was on January 23rd. It has been over three months since I last even touched it. And I don't know why. Um, I guess these things just happen sometimes when you just forget a weapon exists. Like my Sonic Crossbow run, which I uploaded, um, I forgot that that existed too. I had no idea. I just, uh, I just forgot that these stuff, I, I, sometimes I just forget that stuff exists. Um, oh, nine. And that pierces? I'm in. Yeah, you know, it's just, sometimes I just forget that things exist, and um, that can be a problem. Mm-mm, good try. Um, so this will be kind of tough, especially against the uh, Guardians. So I think we might just have to aggro it. Nice. Oh, there we go. Okay. A lot of people with the uh, knife throwers like to do some complicated movement. In reality, you don't need to do anything. You just need to roll. You just need to have the type, the right uh, roll, uh, the right uh, timing on the roll. All right, good. That's thirty. I'll, I'll try to show you guys what I mean by that. Because you do, you don't need to make this more complicated than it has to be. Okay, so I'll show you guys right here. See? Right when he releases, that's when you guys can go and um, make that roll. Like, the problem, the, the reason that people get hit so often by these knife throws is because they roll too damn early. You don't have to do that at all. You can just time the roll right. Like, if you see my videos, you'll see that I almost never, like, do the whole complicated jump and roll thing. Because you don't need to do that. All you need to do is just time it correctly. And they're one of the enemies that you definitely do want to isolate. Like, Rampagers, you don't really need to isolate. Uh, but Knife Throws, probably, because um, they're just a little more complicated. Ew. Hard pass. Worst weapon in the game. And then we're just going to take you down here. Nice. Okay, so we do have a thing of Malays. Let's go take the thingamajig now. Back to 100. And we did get the 30, so we'll be okay in that regard. We still have to fight two elites. But yeah, knife throwers, I just don't... Don't don't put too much uh, weight into it. See, even right there, I rolled the wrong way, but they're they're easy to dodge if you time it right. It's really all about that timing at the end of, at the end of the day. Nice try. So I'll show you guys one more time. See, it's not that bad. So now the big problem with the wrenching whip is essentially that sometimes you're not going to get exactly what you want in terms of the range. And the kick range isn't that great. The first two strikes are fantastic, but the third one is a little suspect. I'm not going to pick up anything in the first level. Level 6 items I'm not a really a big fan of because they're not that much better than level 4 items. I right, got one more scroll and then I can get out of here. And, and the other thing about knife throws that you got to remember is that they they take a long time to do whatever they need to do. That was good. I'll take that. Uh, let's go Arboretum. Good, good, good. So 12, 1, and 2 is not bad at all. Um, I'm thinking we go to Berserker first. 
and then we'll go open wounds later. We don't need open wounds right at the second. Because I do have a throwing knife. I'll be, I will be getting rid of that throwing knife at some point, but not now. May take a firebrands if I see it, because I have inflammable oil on this thing right now. And that plus the firebrands gives me 100% to uh, targets and burning oil. That's an easy, easy, easy synergy right there. Grappling hook. Eh. I don't see anything I like yet. I can also save up on money and then just go to prison depths and then uh, spend the money. Which would be good. Or I can just wait until I go to Moras, which I am going to um, Mama Tick. I might take the melee mutation here. I might do Berserker, Melee, and Open. I think that might be better. Might struggle a little bit against Tick, but besides that... Alright, what do you got in store? Okay, well that was weird. Good try. That was close. Yeah, it's been a long time. I haven't even I know like I haven't even used it in the Bad Seed DLC. Where where are you? And work. Oh, come on. Okay. Well, we recovered from that slightly. Okay. Clear out all the left side first. Last rating aura, man. Fantastic weapon. All right, let's finish out the left side. Let's see what we got here. Nothing I really care about. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Okay, down and to the left. Ow. Alright, what's next? Really? Man, we are not off to a good start. All right, can I do this in peace now? Okay, are we safe? Are we safe? I think we are. Okay, um... Okay, so no dual stat scrolls. 
Don't care about any of these. The weapon feels a little floppy at times, and I, I know that may sound kind of confusing, but um, just the movement of the weapon's a little bit weird. Um, I don't, like, hate it or anything like that, like, far from it, but I think it's quite good. It's just, um, if we're gonna talk about better whip weapons, I think Valmont's whip has it beat by about a mile. Because I think Val well, that's not fair. Valmont's whip is one of the best weapons in the game. Only weapon I can think of that's better than it is possibly, like, maybe Stiletto. Well, Stiletto's definitely good. Stiletto's the best game in the uh, best weapon in the game by far, so that's not even a question. But if we're talking just melee weapons and we don't include Stiletto, I mean, I think Valmont's is up there. Oh, that was fun. Oh, come on. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And I got the 60. Yeah, I mean, this level's fun. I just wish the winds were done damn long. I can just, I can double bind if I want, honestly. I'm not going to, but I could. right now to be honest right, where are you Yeah, this is just a big ball of chaos right now. I mean, this is what I live for. I definitely need to play a little bit better than what I am right now, though. Okay. I do- I haven't picked up any healing items yet, so that could be something that I do.
Oh, God. They need more teleporters in this level. Alright, one of these guys is gonna have my food, and then once I get that, I get out of here. Gotta go down here. Okay. That's one way to get back to full health. Somehow I'm at full health. Helps that I didn't get hit a lot after the first couple times. Alright, we're done. Can head over to Prison Death. First curse of the game. get rid of the carbine or the throwing knife well that is better He's already seen me. Well, there we go. I don't even know how I cleared it that quickly, but I'll take it. pretty fast and I, I want to group these two together Oh, I just barely jumped over him. Okay. Doing okay so far. Yeah, let's go fire runs. Oh, I... I mean, I think, yeah, let's do it. It'll help me for the next couple levels at least. There we go. I was wondering when I was going to see one. It had been a while. Is he dead? Oh, I, I barely took any damage from that. Thank you, Ara. Okay, cool. Okay, 
Yeah, that was a little tricky, but we got it. Nice. Well, we did it. That's that's ultimately what matters here. Um, okay, we're done. Awesome. Even Conjectivious would be fun, but eh, let's go tick. Because I already said I was doing it. <laughs> I haven't used the melee mutation in a few months, too. It's not something I typically run because it messes up my timing against bosses, but I feel like it might be a little bit useful against Giant Tick here. happening. I mean, fuck it, we did it. Stupid maskers, man. I mean, they're a great addition to the game, but still. So there's only going to be one curse chest in here. There we go. This is Bader completely. I know I didn't talk for a second, but uh, I had to really concentrate there. But uh, this is going okay so far. Well, I mean, I say that and then I fucking get potatoed. Oil grenade.
Low gunners are really messing with me right now. I might have to take this one, honestly, for tick. But we'll leave it on the map for now. Saw him at the very last second. up there. Harder than I thought it was gonna be. I haven't gotten any dual stat scrolls in my favor, too. There we go. That was a lot better. Okay, let's see everything that we missed. Okay, well we missed literally everything down there. See, the point of entry for this uh, weapon can be a bit difficult. Damage is there at least, which is good. I can, I, and I can always go pick up the. Uh... Yeah, I have, a, and I have a couple healing options. Okay, I don't know why I was doing that, but okay. I can just leave it at 85. It's really no biggie. Uh, let's just kill the rest of these guys in case one of them drops a scroll or something. guess. Do I really need to? Honestly, I'm kind of low on scrolls. I'm not going to get the 60 door anyways. So let's just uh, do our best. So we can't use two items in here, but it is what it is. We're going to just go through this. Can't use our firebrands, we can't use our uh, flame turret. But aura and whip should be good enough, I feel. Rick. 
I come on, I rolled. All right, well, at least got that one. Next up. All right, there we go. <sighs> kind of a crazy fight, but... I don't know how I got hit either time, but it is what it is. All right, we're gonna go graveyard here. All right, at least all my stuff's gonna work again now. Like my firebrands and all that good stuff. So that's going to be good. And I still have melee, which is pretty good for this level. And it's good for... If I decide to go caverns, that's also really good. Because it'll slow down the two really powerful enemies. Now the question is, do I want to pick up a health pot here or not? Because I have three right now, and I'm at pretty high health. If I was at low health, then yeah, I'd pick one up. But I'm at pretty high health, so I don't know. What the hell hit me? Are you guys done? All right, cool. Still walk. I'm still working off a level four aura. I mean, and it. I didn't see it coming until the very last second, so that's good at least. I don't know what the hell that was, but okay. Not a single dual stat scroll in my favor yet. Okay, well that was not supposed to happen. That was also not the plan, but whatever. Yeah, that was close. Okay, we're doing a little bit better. And we did get the 60, so that was really nice. I think, but I think based off of how many t hits we take off, take in this level, um, I'll either go to Sepulchre or Caverns. 
I feel like caverns might be the slightly easier one for me, but you never know with this sort of thing. Okay, now we can officially start our journey inside the graveyard. Y'all like that branding? Oh, crap. Of course. Why is there an Inquisitor there? This level 4 R has been getting me through half of these biomes, honestly. I'm not even kidding. So that doesn't even matter. Well, I got kind of boned by that masker, so. But it doesn't matter. I didn't take any malaise damage. Okay. I mean, using this is just making me realize how much I missed the Valmont Sweat. That was just me improvising, but we got through all the spike pits, so that's good. So I don't have to see any if and when I get cursed. Well, when I get cursed, there is absolutely a curse in this level. It might be over here, actually. And I've fought two elites, so I have one more to go. Get out of here. I mean, you take the better one, always. Do I have enough money for that? I don't. Get out of here. Get out of here. Alright. So, Curse is over there. So we're probably going into so we're well we're definitely going into caverns cursed. I'm pretty confident after this. So we just can't fuck this up in caverns. Oil grenade. Yes, please. Decent scroll count. Let's see if there's any enemies in here. Ah, uh, yes, there in fact is.
Alright, well, we only have one enemy left. So that's nice. Anywhere else that I didn't go? I think we're set. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's head to the caverns. Let's not fall in the lava, because if we fall in the lava, we instantly die. Okay. Right, we have one more on the curse, and I don't think that... There's a 10% chance of getting a curse in caverns, but assuming that we don't get it, then we're done with curses for the game. Assuming that we don't get one in Hypey Castle as well. Because you get six scrolls in here. Uh, no. The reason I'm not taking that is because uh, we're going to Giant from here. So the problem with Giant is that we can't use Cleaver on it. Only time we can use Cleaver is if like it's directly landed on it. Which is obviously a problem. We just need to be careful in how we get our kill. That's going to be kind of difficult. Because if we have to battle a demon, that's going to be tough. Demons in general will be pretty tough in this level. Barely got it. Alright, well, you can do your thing. Ha, ha, ha. Is that what I think? Okay, I was gonna say, is that a cursed artifact? Because y'all know that I always take that shit. I just snagged him out of the air. Nice. Well, that was fun. Oh shit, I almost ran into that again. They hit pretty hard in caverns, so I should be really careful with things like that. Is that? No. I thought that was a challenge. I was like, oh boy. Melee was the right thing to take here. Okay. I mean, the Firebrands is working out quite nicely for me. I thought it was going to fall down for a sec. Ow. There goes my 60. I have to flawless the rest of the level now. Well, that's the end. Huh, we can just leave right now, honestly. We shouldn't, though. That would, that would make my scroll count bad. What have we here? No.
Okay. Luckily for me, those guys are so slow. Yep, those guys don't get stunned. I gotta remember that. Three enemies in this level don't get stunned. The skeletons, the uh, um, birds, and the, uh, the fucking elephant dude. Rhino boy. Okay. Get our scroll fragment up to twenty eight now. All right, what now? Right. Oh, still not a single dual stat scroll in my favor. That's not good. All right, we're just going to pop down here. Let's just let's get a better way. I mean, that's the one. We should be able to get that. Cuz that's like the perfect whip. Assuming that we, yeah, we should be able to get through this level. I just gotta play a little bit more carefully. I, I don't think I've been playing, I think I've been playing a little bit fast and loose, which is generally what my style is, but what tends to happen sometimes is that I get a little too excited, and um, I don't see things up ahead. I mean, I think that's what's going on right now. I didn't take that because my flame turret is uh, giving me poison, so literally no need. That's a perfect flame turret for me. Nice try. Didn't, I didn't see him until the last second. I mean, I had to kind of be ballsy right there and take it, take him on like that. Uh, because if I stay far away from him and he drops those things on me, man, another one. Um, and if you drop the little crystals on me, then I, I'm done Zo, or close to done Zo. Interesting, but no. I don't use Grappling Hook. It's not my favorite in the world. I know it's good, but it's not, honestly not my favorite. Um, do I have 19 enemies to even kill? I do not. Uh, actually, yes, I do. I do, in fact, have 19 enemies to kill. So let's go kill them. And I have one more Elite, too. I gotta remember that. Alright, so I do have enough for that uh, thingamajig now. I didn't even remember to go take it. So I'm at 30. We'll stay here. Wait until he comes now. Okay, we have the last batch right here. I beat more enemies. Let's check this out first. I think this is the altar. Nope, it's a treasure chest. I think he had a graveyard. Okay. Well, that was fun.
Cool. Oh, well, unfortunately, I didn't get the 75% DR, but, you know, what can you do? Can't get them all, right? I don't know how that happened, but hey, look, I'll take it. And now we gotta meet you up here. I'm gonna say no to all that. Come on. All right, good. And we got the 60s. So that was really good. This is like a pattern here of starting slow but ending good. And against Giant, I can't really do that. So let's uh, let's not do that. So I'm thinking uh, same thing, except I take out the melee. And actually, hmm. let's see where we're at right now. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna say no though. All right, let's go open wounds, and I'm thinking vengeance. Probably instinct. If I get hit by one laser, then the others won't hurt as much. So that's kind of my rationale here. And if I beat him, then I go to High Peak Castle. Same issue with the uh, Lancers and with the uh, Rampagers. And the Guardian Knights. All done. can't. Got it. Nice good. That was a good fight. Nice good. That was a good fight. I, I was very, very happy with that. The fire runs really, really helped against the, um, to get some additional burden damage on that eyeball. If the legendary is good, I will take it. Like if it's like a throwing knife or something. Kudos. Sure. Get some different stuff in here. Why not? Sure. Works about the same as fire runs, anyways. Crop ton of health though, which is nice. I'm starting to enjoy this game again, I would say. Stop stopping caring. Like it's so important to not care sometimes. Alright, well, you're dead. But it's really important to, uh, just kind of let go for a sec. Okay. 
Not, not a single dual stat scroll in my favor. What is this? I mean, luckily, I'm using a pretty powerful weapon here, so I guess it's not that harmful, but it's still annoying. Oops. There we go. There's something up there. You're dead anyways. All of you guys are dead. I always say this, but like, don't act like I don't see you when you try shit like that. Come on. That was, like, impossible. <sighs> I have a monster's eye up there, though. I can go heal. Alright, let's just check what we got here, though. Nothing. Let's just grab it now. I don't want to take this, to be honest. Because how long do I really need the inflammable oil for? I just needed enough to, to make my point. Oh, look, lucky me. Worn off. All right, cool. Um, we have a little bit of level left. Don't get hit by spikes. Don't get hit by spikes. I got very fortunate there. Now, when do I upload this? Do I, do I just wait a couple weeks before I upload it? I don't really give a shit about the 60, to be honest, so I just want to go in and go out. Okay, uh, next one's right here. Like I said, I'm very lazy and I don't feel like fighting enemies right now. But these are spikes, so let's be careful. Eh, actually, that wasn't that bad.
All right, one more, and then we can get out of here. Get out of here. Let us skedaddle. We're at full health. Three health pots. Should be okay. I've kind of run into this bad habit of rolling too early on the Hand of the King dash. Um, so let's not do that this time. I didn't die to him, but it was definitely scary. at the end guys yeah this astrolab and then collector then we're done it's been a pretty actually it's kind of been a slower ish one. i don't know brutality is usually pretty fast for me Oh, right as he was going to hit me, I hit him back and then I got the uh, kill. Just that barely, barely got the no hit. Because I knew either he hits me or I hit him. So I was like, screw it. I'm just taking my chance on that one. And then I got it. So pretty good. Good fight overall. All right, what can we replace it? Uh, nah. I wonder if I can change this to something better. Yeah, let's change it to that. I like that better. Because the burn is more consistent than the Toxic Cloud for my Flame Turret. Maybe that's the way I'm thinking about this. I'm sticking with these mutations for the rest of the game anyway, so... Should be fine. I'm, I'm actually just going to stick with this build. I don't really have anything I need to change. Unless you get like a throwing knife with bleeding causes poisoning or something. Nice shot field experiment. So that's both shops out of the way. Now we just need the treasure chest and the two elites, and then we're set.
Dude. Um, at least at 97%. That's revenge. Okay. Let's activate that right away. Okay, so we know where you guys are now. Oh, wow, that's our, that's our first one. That is our first one. Amazing. The hell happened to her? Okay, whatever. I guess I gotta go this way to uh, finish out the rest of this. So I'm at the last second. Okay. Uh, right in the nut. Grab that. Nope. Dick hole. Okay. I thought I could time that, but nope. All right, cool. We can head towards the end now. Anyone there? Nope. Well, I've messed up everything on that. Well, now we just wait for him to come. So I don't have to deal with any annoying bombers. Cool. Okay, cool. Then we're on to the rest of that. Oh, 200,000. How much do I really care, though?
Like I told you guys, like, you know, when I'm lazy, I'm extremely lazy. Get over here. No, that didn't go according to plan. Okay. It is officially one o'clock now. There we go. Awesome. Let's get out of here. And I can actually just change the mutations one more time. Let's take a picture of that. Okay. Alright, so let's go... I think instinct... Emergency and then open wounds. Yeah, I think that works. Because the thing is, I don't need that much health for this fight. I but I would like the quick heal. Because I'm pretty good on health at almost forty thousand. Well, I'm at eighty percent, so thirty thousand. So it's not really that big of a deal. I mean, I have a good amount of health. This isn't a tactics build. Like I can afford to take a few hits here. Alright, Hakuto's bow and then both my skills. Nice. Really, really good start. Okay. Only a little bit of this fight left. I knew I was protected anyways by the shield, so that's why I didn't bother jumping. Um, pretty good run. I'm, I'm very happy with that. Um, no hit two out of the four bosses. Ran into some trouble at some points, but I think overall it's a good weapon. I wouldn't say it's great, though. I wouldn't say it's an S-tier weapon anymore. I would put it at the top of A-tier, though. Um, I think Valmont's whip completely outshines it in every single way because Valmont's hip is extremely powerful at its peak, whereas uh, Wrenching Whip is not. And... Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know how I would improve it. Maybe make it part tactics. I think it could really benefit in some tactics settings. But overall, I think it's a pretty good weapon. Not the best, though. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch my content. Leave a like and subscribe for more Dead Cells. And I will see you all when I see you all. Uh, my social commentary on Instagram and body image should come out either Thursday or Friday. It's going to be in two parts because otherwise that shit would be way too long. Very excited about it. I hope you guys stay in, stay tuned for that. Um, part one will be released either Thursday or Friday and then part two a couple days after that. And then, um, I do clips of interviews with uh, two of my friends. I'm going to be releasing those interviews in full over the next week or so. So, uh, I would, yeah. Thank you guys again and I'll see you guys later.